Howdy folks, my name is Kelly and I'm in Idaho. I am a rank beginner carver. I've been a beginner now for several years. <laughs> May stay that way for the rest of my life, but uh, I know there's a lot of people that are always looking for patterns and uh, I know you can buy patterns for carving and such, which is fine, but if you can get something for free, then I think that's fine as well. Uh, I also do 3D printing, and you can. There are a lot of files available for 3D printing on places like uh, Thing, uh, Thingiverse, which is probably one of the most popular ones, and uh, it has literally hundreds of thousands of files that people have already made and uploaded there, so we can download them and then print them on our 3D printers. Well, these are 3D objects. So I thought, you know, if there was a way we could take these 3D objects that are already created and uh, turn them into a pattern for carving, such as the front view and the side view profile, then that would open up a lot of resources for carvers, a lot of free resources for carvers uh, to get patterns on things that they like and would like to carve. Now there are a couple of uh, programs that you'll need to download, or one of them in particular I guess, in order to make this work. But what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to download what's called an STL file. That's a 3D file that is used to uh, print an object on a 3D printer. And so in order to make this happen, you'll have to download a program called Cura. C-U-R-A. Cura is a free program and what it does is what what you do is you download the STL file, you load the STL file into Cura and then Cura will make the G code that is necessary to be able to print that object to the 3D printer. Well we don't need the G code but we can view the 3D object on our computer screens in Cura take a picture of that, transfer it to a, a document such as like a Word file, a, a Word document or a LibreOffice document, and it'll outline it, and then you can cut that out and use it for a pattern for carving. So I was going to step you through that and show you how I would do it. Now I'm not an expert at this, but I did figure out this little process, and I've used it a couple of times, and it does work. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to open up a browser here and <clears throat> I'm going to go to Thingiverse and it's just like it's spelled or just like it sounds, Thingy, T-H-I-N-G-I, Thingiverse.com. So we'll hit that and then uh, this, is, this is Thingiverse here and all these items down here are people that uh, are objects that people have created into a 3D file. So uh, you go up here to the search engine up here and just type in let's look for a bear so we'll hit enter and see what comes up and uh, let's see there was one on here that I found earlier that uh, I thought would work pretty good so this one right here so let's say we wanted to get that bear and uh, turn it into a file and make a pattern from it. So I'm just going to click on the bear <clears throat> and that's going to open this page. It's a detailed page. So at this page all we have to do is go over here where it says download all files. So I'm going to click on that and then that's going to start a little download here. There we go. Now it says bear1.zip down here in the lower left hand corner. It's because I've already downloaded it once that it's downloading it again. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this up arrow and I'm going to, going to go to show and folder. What that did was downloaded that file into my downloads folder. So I'm going to go in where it says show and folder. And okay, it's this one right here. So I'm going to double click on that. Then I'm going to go into the files folder here and then it says okay there's our STL file that's the one we need so what I'm going to do is right click 
and I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go and put that uh, into another external drive that I have here into a folder called carving patterns right here. Now you can see I've already downloaded or I've already pasted it into here so I'm not going to do it again but if, if you're doing it for the first time you just right click and paste and that would uh, paste the bear file into this folder. So now that we've got this folder into a place that we know where it's at, it's on my F drive in carving patterns. Uh, I'm going to get out of that for right now. And the next thing we're going to need is a program called Cura. So while I've got the browser open here, I'm going to go up here and type in Cura download, which you can see I've already done. So we're going to follow this to Ultimaker Cura, powerful, easy to use 3D printing software. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to, okay, so here it says download for free. So Cura is a free program. There might be a slight learning curve on this for you, but it's not bad at all. I've already got it installed on my computer, so I'm not going to download it and go through all that. I'll leave that up to you, but if you don't have this program, just click right here, download for free. It'll download it. Uh, you can install it, get it going on your computer. It's just like any other program. So uh, I'm going to get out of my browser right now. and We're going to go to Cura. And so I keep my Cura right here. Okay, so we're going to start Cura, and while that's starting, I want to tell you about another little program we're going to need that is also free, that is called the Snipping Tool, and I believe it comes with Windows 7, but I know it comes with Windows 10. And uh, what it allows you to do, you start that, and it'll allow you to outline something on the screen and save it as a JPEG file. So we'll get to that here in just a minute. But now that we've got Cura up and running, I'm going to go up here to the upper left-hand corner, I'm going to click on File, and I'm going to click on open and we're going to open this uh, bare STL file that we downloaded a while ago. So I'm going to highlight that and tell it to open and there's our bear. So now we can hold down our right mouse button and then move that around and we can view that from any angle that we want. You can probably already see where I'm going with this. So I'm going to give it a, a head-on view just like that it's kind of kind of have to be light-handed here with this mouse to get it just where you want it bear with me a second here okay that should work you see this red don't pay any attention to that that just tells the 3d printer guy that uh, if you try to print this without support the head's gonna fall off so that's not anything we have to worry about so using your left mouse button you want to click on the bear and you see it outlines it in blue there, but it also gives us these arrows, and we don't really want those arrows. So let's go over here to the left part of the screen and see this bottom button right here? Click on that, and that'll get rid of the arrows. Okay, now we've got our image. We've got a front view of the image. It's outlined in blue. So let's start our snipping tool program and tell it we want a new one. So now we're going to go down here like this, and we're going to outline the part that we want. Let off on the mouse button, and now we're going to save that. We're going to save that as bare left. I've already saved this several times, so we're just going to use bare left again. That already exists, so yeah, that's fine. Okay, now we've got the front view. I should have saved that as front, not left, but that's all right. You get the idea. Now I'm going to hold down my right mouse button again, and I'm going to move this around to the side profile. And I'm going to do the same thing all over again using a different profile. And if you can make as many different profiles as you want just by moving this around where you want it. Okay, snipping tool, new. Outline it, file, save as, I'm going to call this bare left 2, because now we'll have a bare left and bare left 2 that we need. So save that as that. 
All right, now we're done with snipping tool. And as far as that goes, we're done with Kira. So I'm going to get out of that. I'm going to start. You can use any graphics program that you want, actually, but most people have Word. If you don't have Microsoft Word, you can download the Office suite called LibreOffice, and that'll give you a, it's actually a Microsoft Office alternative, only it's free. And it works, and it works great. I use it all the time. But I'm just going to use uh, Window or uh, Microsoft Word because I know a lot of people already have that. I want a blank document here. I'm going to go here to uh, orientation. I'm going to. I always like to work in landscape when I'm working on this stuff. So let's insert a picture from this device, and uh, that was in my videos. Carving 3D. Okay, where was our the one we okay bare left? Let's insert that one. And I'm just gonna click right next to that again, and I'm gonna insert picture this device bare left two. And there we are. Now you can see that you've got the front profile and you've got the left, uh, the uh, side profile. You can resize these if you want by clicking on them and using the diagonal, but you got to make sure you get them at the exactly the right size because you don't want one different than the other. So let's see if I can do this. All right, it's kind of shaded there, so you can kind of line up the shaded areas. That doesn't look the same, does it? Okay, let's go up here like this. And you might even have to hold a ruler across there to make sure you're getting the same height. Let's see. All right, let's try that. That is probably close enough. Now, once you're at this point, you can print that out. I would suggest if your printer lets you to print it to cardstock, then you can cut out cut that out with a uh, with a pair of scissors, and you can use that as your pattern to draw to the wood. Uh, if you can't do that, just print it out to a regular paper cut it out of the paper or just leave it on the paper and use carbon paper to mark the wood. But that's how you do it. And uh, I see, you see you've got a pretty wide line there, but that shouldn't be a problem. You can use the inside or the outside if you want, or you can put this into a program like CorelDRAW and you can trace around it in CorelDRAW. But this will give you your side profile and your front profile and uh, you can download any files that you want off of Thingiverse. There's Yegi.com. Gosh, there's there's several sites that have STL files available. So that is how it's done. And I hope that helps you out and hope you can get some use out of it.